Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Ushanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи. В эфире программа Ушанка Show. My name is Sergey, and I was born in the USSR. Меня зовут Сергей, я родился в Советском Союзе. Not only I was born in the USSR, which happened in 1971, I also experienced the final years of the Soviet Union while I was a teenager in Kiev, Ukraine. Many of my viewers are quite interested in those final years, late 80s, so we're going to continue looking into that topic. In my video, finally some truth, I showed you examples of articles that were published in the late 80s and quite a few of them were quite interesting. And in the video, the Soviet look, we talked about the most popular uh, news entertainment program, Vzgled, the look that everyone was watching on Friday nights in the late 80s. And today we're going to talk a little bit about music from that era and more specifically rock band Nautilus Pompilius from the Russian city of Sverdlovsk. To be completely honest, Nautilus Pompilius was never my favorite rock band from that era. I liked Kino with uh, Viktor Tsoi much, much better. Nautilus wasn't even on the second place. For me personally, I liked Alisa with Konstantin Kinchev much better. And I think the main reason for that is that Nautilus Pompilius had really powerful lyrics, but the music, like melody-wise, wasn't that great. I actually really liked only one song by them, it's called Goodbye America, but today we're going to talk about a completely different song. And I don't blame them, it's really hard to make a catchy tune with actual lyrics, like the words that not just baby baby oh oh or baby baby one more time, so I don't blame them, but it didn't help, of course. I like I wanted to have some melody going with the song. I actually spent some time and put together this PowerPoint presentation. So, дорогие товарищи, dear comrades, let me introduce you to the song Chained Together, Skovaneya Adnoi Tsepiu by Nautilus Pompilius. And one, two, three, go! Kruguvaya paruka mazetka kopat. So we have translation here for you. The mutual cover-up smears like soot. So in Russian we say Krugavaya Paruka, which translates like a circled cover-up. So picture on Wild West when the settlers were getting in trouble, they were circling the, wag the wagons, right? So this is what we say in Russian. It's circled cover-up. So Cops covering criminals and criminals covering cops or something like that. So this is Kurgavaya Paruka. It's always criminal meaning. And it smears like soot. And anyone who deals with fireplaces, you know, it's really hard to wash off any soot marks. So Kurgavaya Paruka Majetka Kopat. So this is song about life in the Soviet Union in those last years. Ya biru chutaruku a chustvuyu lokat a reach for a hand but I feel only the elbows. So no one is willing to help no one. Я ищу глаза, а чувствую взгляд. I search for the eyes, but get only glares. Где выше голов находится зад, where above the heads there is an ass. And it actually means like a rare part. So someone who is in charge is not that smart person. За красным восходом розовый закат. After the red dawn, there is a pink sunset. This is, I think, one of the most powerful words in this song. So, red dawn, October Revolution, red banners, a lot of blood, and it's ended with the pink sunset. So, there's your Brezhnev era, and so on, when it's slowly, Soviet Union is dying out. There's no more red, just pink. So-called stagnation. And the pripev starts. I'm not sure how to translate pripev in English. I never translated songs before. But that's the one that repeats after each part of the song. Skovanie adnoi cepiu svyazanie adnoi celiu Chained with a single chain. Roped with a single aim. So the whole population, we got one aim, building communism, and we're all connected with a single chain. Here the trains are slow, 
but spaces are vast. So that's huge, huge Russia. Здесь суставы смяли, чтобы сделать колонны. Here the joints got crushed to build the columns. So it's kind of reference to gulag. Одни слова для кухонь, другие для улиц. There are words for the kitchens and the words for the streets. So that's a reference. When people talk politics in the kitchen, they drink and they brave, they criticize the government, but then when they walk on the streets, the language changes completely. So this is like dual speak. Здесь сброшены орлы ради бройлерных куриц. Here the eagles were knocked down in favor of broiler chicken. So the reference, before the revolution in Kremlin and Moscow, there were eagles, the symbol of Russian Tsar, and those were knocked down and we traded for the broiler chicken, which is, broiler chicken is pretty much so-called uh, American chicken that we started getting uh, during the Brezhnev time, so-called noshki bush, legs of bush. That's when the first time we got those big giant meat chickens. So we traded our Russian eagles for the American uh, chickens. And then we go again. So when I get in line, even kissing with others who are also chained with the one chain, and rope thin was the a single aim. Можно верить и в отсутствие веры. You can have faith in the lack of of the faith. So you believe in something, although faith wasn't legal. So this is kind of interesting reference here. Можно верить и в отсутствие веры. So you can believe in that there's no belief. Можно делать и в отсутствии дела. So you can be a maker even uh, when there is nothing to make. So this is a reference for these jobs that we were going to the factory, walking on day, coming back, working again, and producing just useless stuff that no one needed or no one wanted. Нищие молятся, молятся на, то то, что их нищета гарантирована. Beggars are praying and thankful that their poverty is guaranteed. And I mentioned that many times that when I started thinking about our Soviet life, I was like, yes, it was comfortable to live poor in the Soviet Union. They kept you poor, but since we had a heavily subsidized housing and heavily subsidized basic foods like bread, milk, it was comfortable poverty. So here you go. That beggars are praying and thankful that poverty is guaranteed. Здесь можно играть про себя на трубе. You could blow your own trumpet. And to be honest, I'm not sure if they're talking про себя. There's two meanings could be. Играть про себя, it could be uh, like play about yourself. Or like you do it inside of your head without making any sound. And I'm not sure what they meant here. I translate it as like you can blow on your own trumpet. No как не играй, все играешь от бой. So no matter how hard you try to play the trumpet, it always plays taps. I had to ask around. Usually in military, at boy means when it's time to go to bed, lights out, at boy. And I was told in English in military it means you play taps. И если есть те, кто приходит к тебе, and if there is someone who comes to you, so they talk about friends. So you have friends that come to visit you. Найдутся и те, кто придет за тобой. There will be someone who comes after you. So here they're talking about KGB or militia. And I picked the picture of Czechist uh, people. Найдутся и те, кто придет за тобой. So if you have people who come to visit you, there'll be people who come to take you. Также скованные одной цепью связанные одной целью. So those people also chained with a single chain and roped in with a single aim. Здесь женщины ищут, но находят лишь старость. There's another really powerful quote. It became, like we call it right now, meme. Because everyone, it like went to the, our vocabulary. Here women are searching, means for love, but they're finding only the old age. 
And I, I found a good picture for that quote. Здесь мерилом работы считают усталость. Here the fatigue is used as a measurement of work. So you, you had a good day if you're extremely tired. Actually, my father-in-law, that's kind of his attitude. So it doesn't matter how effective you were. You measure your work, how tired you are. Здесь нет негодяев в кабинетах из кожи. So here we have no scumbags that occupy leather offices. So when I talk in leather offices, I mean offices so that apparatchik people, uh, party officials that have a leather furniture. And so our country is the country have no scumbags in such offices. So a lot of irony there. Здесь первые на последних похожи. So they're talking that the ones on the top look just like the ones on the bottom. So первые it's like the first, but последние is the last. So because we try to reach equality, we reach the situation when everyone, doesn't matter how successful we are, we all look the same. И не меньше последних устали быть может. And they are. So the ones that on the top probably no less are tired of being and then, of course, goes repeat again. So the first one, just like the last one, is already tired of this lifestyle of being также скованными одной цепью, связанными одной целью. So they're also tired of also being chained with a single chain and roped in with a single aim. So as you see, it's a very powerful song, very powerful lyrics, but music and melody, not that much. And I will uh, provide links to that song in description below the video and comments. But I said it reflected perfectly the mood of the many Soviet people in the mid 80s, late 80s, because everyone was tired of doing the same, tired of being as everyone else, tired of pretending that we're trying to build better society. We just wanted to do different things and not to worry about this being chained with a single chain and roped in with a single aim. Well, that's all I have for you today, and I'm very curious how did you like this unusual video. Please post in your comments below, and we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye. to have a signed copy thank you and if you love my channel and would like to show your support please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Oshanka show for as little as one dollar you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet 